on MTN hanging out at the New River Zoo with Keith Stroud. How are you, Keith? Good, man. Good and who's, all right. who's your buddy here? This is Marky. Marky's Hey, Marky. Marky's a Kawadi Monday. A Kawadi who? Kawadi Monday. Kawadi Monday. <laughs> They're do from you, uh, Central you, America and South America. Do you have friends that are Kawadi Tuesday and Kawadi <laughs> Wednesday? Hmm? Hmm? Sniff on the people. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people think they're kind of like an anteater or something, but they're actually in the raccoon family. Well, it's an odd uh, uh, and kind of unusual uh, critter to find uh, yeah. out in Fleetwood, North Carolina, but then everything you have out here is. Pretty much. Tell us a little bit about the New River Zoo Pretty and much. what folks can see out here. I've got about 70 different species of animals, uh, five different kinds of cats, leopards, lynxes, uh, serval, caracal. Uh, I've got foxes, uh, New Guinea singing dogs, which are wild dogs, buffalo, water buffalo, uh, lemurs, just a big variety of all kinds of animals, reptiles, you know, some fish and things like that. Some wow. fish get it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and, of course, you got things that, that folks around here would recognize, like goats and turkeys and chickens and sure stuff do. like that. Sure do, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, some... some uh, Petting animals, I guess mm. you'd say. Animals for people to feed and pet and things the like little, that. So the little tiny mini, miniature goats and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, those are actually fainting goats. They kind of Fainting goats? Fainting goats, you know, they have a, yeah. <laughs> they have a neurological disease, actually. That, <laughs> really? That, it's no a kidding. genetic, yeah, that, that kind of causes them to lock up and, and just fall over. I, I've, I've had that happen on, a, <laughs> yeah. on occasion myself. Yeah. Um, how did you decide to do this? I mean, this is not like, you know, a normal hobby, Keith. What is what is this? I agree. <laughs> it's a different <laughs> hobby. Um, I had a lot of animals as pets when I was younger and uh, kept getting more and more. And then when I got out of college, I uh, was working at a zoo outside of Charlotte. Mm. And uh, the zoo owner was kind of older and he wanted to close down. And so he started giving me more animals. And, of course, I had to have a license to have those animals. And uh, because of that, you know, obviously USDA knew about me and animal mm. control and everything <laughs> like that. So uh, they kept giving me more and more animals. So uh, kind of got to where I just pretty much rescue a lot of animals or take in animals that people don't want anymore or can't handle. Like Marky here, he was mm -hmm. someone's pet, you know, that they really couldn't handle anymore and didn't right. really, I guess, you know, people's situations change, you right. know, through life, right. you know, and someone may. And sometimes it seems like a good idea when they're young and then they grow up and it's not such a good idea. Yeah, or, or it bites their kid or it bites somebody or something like mm -hmm. that. Then it becomes not such a good idea and... Uh, yeah, they get to be kind of a handful. <laughs> These little guys like him, he can be a really sweet animal, you know, and he's he's a great animal. Obviously, but his nose is cold. at the same time, if, if you don't know, well, he's, he's actually trying to hide. Oh, is that what he's doing? Are you but shy? But see, he's got some teeth on him. Ooh, he can, my. He could lay a bite on you if you that's, really No, that's quite all right. I'll let you really handle it. If you really wanted to. No, I'll, I'll let you handle it. Well, I mean, he wouldn't. I'm just saying that yeah. a lot of times people get these animals and don't realize that they're gonna, what they're getting into. Yeah, what it they're It looks getting cute into. when it's young, yeah. Yeah, you see someone on TV playing with it, you think it's cool, and it's really not all mm -hmm. that cool and not all that fun. To... And and with all of these different animals out here and, and so many different varieties, different needs, uh, different things you have to do to take care of them, they all seem except for one wolf to like you pretty well <laughs> <laughs> they all pretty much like me for the most part yeah. for the most part i try to win them over if i can and now you, uh, you don't do this by yourself certainly you have help with all these animals i have some help yeah not a not a whole lot but i do have some help yeah and some uh another and thing like that, that that would be helpful is for folks to come out and see now That's the most now the first thing we ought to do is tell them how to get here because it's it's not right there off the highway is no it? no no and I, w I wish i could have done that but <laughs> but there's too many rules on things so you can't do that but i'm in the fleetwood community of ash county off of highway 221 mm -hmm. so if you're coming from boone or wilkesboro you just take 421 to 221 north like you're going towards west jefferson and you go about five and a half miles and take a left on a road called railroad grade road and there's a sign for the zoo there and you go almost a mile and take a ride on Big Flats Church Road. And, the and then from on, there you just follow the signs. Just follow the signs, yeah. And the zoo will be on the left-hand side, and it's on Big Flats Church Road. You can't miss it. Once now, are, are, are you open throughout the year? Um, March through December, we're open 10 to 6 every day except Sundays. Sundays just 1 to 5. And uh, to, to come out and take day. the tour, uh, what is it called? It's 6 for adults, 5 for seniors, and 4 for children. And uh, children 2 and under are free. And it usually takes around an hour and a half to two hours to see everything. And I've got picnic tables, things like that. So if people want to bring a picnic lunch or something like that and hang out for the day, they can do that. And I've got hiking trails throughout the woods and things like that. So uh, not just animals, they can, mm. they can see some other stuff out here. But that, that's really the draw, though, because you're going to see things out here that you're just not going to see anywhere else short of 
going off to a big city zoo or, or taking some safari. Exactly, somewhere. exactly. And I feel like, like I said, a lot of these animals were people's pets and were animals that for one reason or another, someone else couldn't care for them anymore, right? And so why not be able to use them as ambassadors for their species mm -hmm. to educate people about exactly. these animals? Because the reality is a lot of these animals, if you didn't see them in a zoo, you'd never see them. Right. You know, you would never want to see a leopard in the wild that close. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that that it just doesn't even make sense. So, uh, and if you can, if people can at least come out here and see some of these animals, it'll help them to, you know, help, help to encourage them to conserve everything, even the animals around here. Right. And, and because, gosh, we live in a gorgeous area, so. Even the less exotic ones. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> to, to me... To me, you know, a white-tailed deer would be exotic to yeah. someone from China. This is true. This you is know, true. <laughs> or a, you know, a groundhog that's an everyday thing to me or you is an exotic animal mm -hmm. to someone from, you know, Florida that comes up here or something like that. So. Uh, if somebody wanted to call and uh, maybe work out something for like a, a church group or a scouting group to come down here, how do they get? We do group tours for group for groups of ten or more, and uh, there's fifty cents taken off for every person, mm -hmm. so it helps out a little bit on the price and I give a tour that usually lasts about an hour and a half to two hours and just call 336-877-9219 uh, just call and talk to me and I'll book you a, a schedule and I do a lot of school groups and a lot of things like that and with with schools I try to actually get teachers to um, go onto my website which is newriverzoo.com and uh, look up a lot of the animals and get the kids to kind of do some research on them before they come out here so they know a little bit about what to expect. Yeah, they, they know what they're looking at. And then if the kids really know, you know, kind of more or less what they're talking about, the kids can kind of almost give their own little reports as they're walking through the zoo. You know, and so not only does, does it kind of help to beaming into the kids' brains a little bit more, but seeing the other students knowing about the other animals helps other kids want to learn more. So, You know, you really need a hat that holds still. What are you doing? He's, he's what are you doing? There. Whoops! Uh, Mark, Whoops! He, he you, mess up his mic. you knocked off our sign, Bubba. What are you doing there? Well, it's definitely an opportunity to, 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 uh, and and with many of these animals, to really interact up close, just like this. <laughs> Hi! No, I'm not freaking out. Hi there. He's all right. He just he's wants good. He's a, so you're not going to get this kind of an opportunity at, at most any other zoo. So uh, make plans to come out to New River Zoo, hang out with Keith and Marky and Sue. And and who else did we meet today? Oh, gosh. Guys, we met them all. Just come out and check Loki them out. Loki and Lulu and all kinds, <laughs> all kinds of others. And some that don't even have names. <laughs> yeah, and, and usually, you know, if I'm not real busy, I do try to get animals out. You know, for if a kid wants to pet a snake or pet something like a fox or something, I try to get things out for kids if, if I've got time. And, know, and most busy. of them are very friendly, aren't you? You're a friend. Are you going to take a nap? I think me and you both should take a nap. I really like naps. Let's take a nap. I've got about 70 different species of animals, just a big variety of all kinds of animals. I'm in the Fleetwood community of Ash County, 221 North, like you're going towards West Jefferson. And it usually takes around an hour and a half to two hours to see everything. And I've got picnic tables, so if people want to bring a picnic lunch or something like that, hang out for the day, they can do that. You're not going to get this kind of an opportunity at, at most any other zoo. So uh, make plans to come out to New River Zoo, hang out with Keith and Marky and Sue.